Hey, good morning. It is Wednesday. I know the sun is not all the way out. It's a little cloudy, but it's still Wednesday. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to have you. Come on, get up. Let's get moving this morning. God has a blessing in store for you. It's our time to share. It's our time to talk. It's our time to pray. Come on, let's get up and get going. You know my thing. Call somebody, text somebody wake somebody you may even need to shake somebody tell them get up it's wednesday in the word with bishop looking forward to talking to you today thankful for all of you who are online this morning it's going to be a good good day all right i'm telling you it's going to be a good good day as i said a little overcast it rained like crazy on yesterday and apparently we still got a little rain overnight um, but it is definitely going to be a good, good day. A good, good day. Come on, join in with me this morning. Let me see who's on the line. Uh, looking to see everybody pop on, pop in. So we've got time to share. Good morning, Kelly Graham. Glad to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Ira Collins, glad you're on this morning. What a blessing to have you on. Karen Wood Daniels, come on in. Cynthia Hope. Chestia, let me say good morning to all of you. Ebony Brown, Nikki, good morning, good morning, good morning. 
Sheena Mack is on this morning. Good morning. All right, Cicely is on this morning. Loretta, come on in. Good morning. Good morning. Tanya Hampton, good morning. Good morning, girl. Glad that you're on. Kelly Willis is on. What a blessing. That means Harper is somewhere watching. Good morning, Harp. All right, Kyra and Tamara, good morning. Got Reggie on this morning. Glad that you all are <clears throat> coming in this morning. As I said, a little overcast, but it is going to be a good, good day. There is a point at which the sun is going to peep out, and it's going to be a reasonable day. We bless God for that. Listen, not only is it going to be a good, good day in terms of the weather, it's because it's going to be in the 70s today. Whatever you're dealing with today, God's going to give you the strength to walk through it. Whatever is in front of you, God's going to give you the strength not only to get through it, but really to be an overcomer in that area. And so I want you to walk in that this morning. You are an overcomer. Good morning, Brenda. God bless you. Good morning, Chris. We are glad that you're on. Miss Chris Hampton, good morning, good morning. Janice, glad that you're on. Keisha's up this morning. I call her Keisha, that's her nickname. Glad that she's on. Miss Vita is on. There's Q, Mother Cooper. Glad that you're on. I'm telling you, it is going to be a good, good day. You know, we spend every Wednesday talking, praying, uh, and, and really reassuring each other of the fact that God has our backs. And each week sometimes brings a different uh, problem, difficulty, something that's complex. And every single week, God gives us what we need to get through it. We're so, so blessed. I mean, we're in the month of March. We started out in January. And listen, we're moving quickly. We're going to look up and we're going to be in the midst of summer. And God has been favorable to us. Good morning, Audrey. Good morning, LaQuisha. Johnny Hawkins, good morning. Good morning. All right, there's Marla saying good morning to everybody. All right, my attorney, Madeline, good as gold, one of my favorite people. Good morning, good morning, Paula. And so I want you to know that God has your back. I mean, that's that's the message. I want you to know God has your back. He's always with you. Good morning, Alan and Ify. Alan is my fraternity brother. Good morning. There's Simone. I got some bodyguards. Simone is one of them. If you run up, you're going to get done up. That's a phrase. Do not mess with her. All right. So listen, we got to do some shout outs this morning. I want to know who you are praying for. Nick, Nick, you are an overcomer. No doubt about it. Robin. Robin is just a wonderful mom. Her little baby has grown up and uh, I get tickled every time I see her because I, I feel old when I see her. All right. Stephanie Addison, that's my world traveler. She, she travels more than I do. Well, I need to deal with good morning. Sugar. Glad that you're on AC. I'm still looking, AC. I'm about to work it out. All right, Sean Woods. Good morning. Good morning. Tanya Covington. What a blessing to have you on this morning. Carol Collins. Amen. Amen. Glad that you're here. Uh oh. Michelle Bridget Reed. Let me say that one more time. Michelle Bridget Reed. I got to call that whole name. All right. Kenny Neal. Come on in this morning. All right. There's Ebony. Come on in this morning. Ebony. Gillard, yes, come on in this morning. Glad that you are on this morning. Lolita, we need you this morning, all right? Who are you praying for this morning? I want to know that. Give me the, the prayer shout outs. All right, Chris says she's praying or needs prayer for her family. All right, there's Jackie. Who are you praying for this morning? There's Valencia. That Valencia is just as good as gold, all right? Mother Walker, come on in, come on in. All right. Uh, my family in Texas, passing of my niece. We got you, Q. Who are you praying for? Kimberly, you're right. God has your back. Lakeisha, all right. I love that little boy. He is just, everybody loves him. He's becoming a church baby. Who are you praying for this morning? All right. Lolita's praying for the children of MSCS. All right. And all of our teachers. All right. Tara, we're praying for my brother in Iraq for work. Oh, wow. We got him this morning. Ebony, all right. She's saying good morning. We got you. We got you. We got you. All right. Praying for daughter. That's Madeline. Uh, uh, mother for heart condition. Best friend who suffered a stroke. We got you. All right. Tanya said, praying for myself. We got you. All right. All right. Chris is praying for Oral Washington and the loss of her sister. We got you. We got you. We got you. 
We got you. Um, Monica Bentley praying for Aunt Shirley. All right. Courtney is praying for Elder Q, Valencia, and Lolita. We got you. Ernest is praying for herself and his family. Mother Walker is praying for her children. Cheryl, there she is. That's my other bodyguard praying for her family. All right. Tamika praying for her family. Come on, I need these shout outs. All right. Stephanie's praying for family and passing of cousin Tony Witherspoon. Uh, Doris Trot is praying for family. Brother Shaq, Sister Shaq, still praying for them. All right. Uh, Yvonne praying for all leaders. We got you. Uh, Keisha's praying for a brother and a dad. Carrie's praying for her family. We got you. Uh, Valencia's praying for the young adults of Memphis and uh, the Faulkner family. All right. Simone's praying for my family and friend. Uh, portrait, we got you. All right. Toel's praying for Brother Dockery. We got you. All right. Still praying for Brother Shaq. This is so important to me. Lisa Claiborne is praying for co-workers and friends. And Janice is praying for George Braxton. Uh, his mom's funeral is today. And of course, Mary is praying for uh, John and Dora here. We got you. Uh, Chesty is praying for Tiffany Hobbs and her mom. Finally, uh, Iris is praying for job and their uh, job endeavors on becoming or upcoming new job. I'm sorry. All right. And Brenda's praying for granddaughter. We got you this morning. All these different prayer requests, and certainly we want to honor them. Alicia's praying for her children. All right. We got you. Alicia's praying for her mom. We got you. All right. Deshara's praying for better mister. We got you. All right, Linda Nettis is praying for Clark family. We got you. All right, Cynthia's praying for prosperity. We got you. Kenosha's praying for family and friends. And Carol Collins is praying for Nikki Savage. We got you. All right, we got you. I, I do this every week, and it's so important to get these on the feed. Uh, but it's so important to see what's happening in people's lives and who they're praying for so that we can join them in those prayer requests and believe God for whatever needs to take place. Uh, I believe in the power of prayer. And in fact, <clears throat> that's what I wanna lead you to this morning. Of course, we're on the fast in the month of March. Tuesdays are our day of fasting. And on those days we are praying, reading the word and we're abstaining from some things, social media. And most definitely we're staying uh, away from the shopping. We're turning our plates down. Uh, we start at five, we end at five, and then we come together at 6.30 for powerful prayer. And let me just say, last night was incredible, all right? Uh, I, I believe in the power of prayer, and that's where I am this morning. And I want you to join me in something as we pray about it together. I'm praying for all of you, certainly, and all of new life, and here's why. You know, there, there, there are ways in which the enemy attacks us. Uh, you know, it's it's an attack that sometimes feel like feels like um it's 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 to destroy all of us you know sometimes you're looking from for something from the front and it kind of hits you in the side and you're not prepared for it and let me be specific about what i mean i'm praying for new life a covering for new life because i'm beginning to hear of so many people who are wrestling with something physical uh, the difficulty of, of physical attack by the enemy, cancer here, stroke here, um, all kinds of things that are occurring in our congregation. And not just family members of people who are a part of New Life, but, but those who are in membership, New Life everywhere. I'm hearing of so many accounts of things that are happening. And I want us to pray about that. Whenever you see sickness in the body of Christ, when it becomes intense, uh, we need to pray about that. God is a healer and God will heal. I know that we read things in scripture about the healing ministry of Jesus Christ. And those who are not believers would like to cause us to think that healing does not occur. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. God <clears throat> still heals. And I'm telling you, we've got to put a, a, a prayer covering over new life. In fact, I want you to put that out there on the feed. All right. God still heals. God still heals. I want that on the feed. God still heals. All right. Put that out there. God still, he still heals. 
I want that out there. And I, I'm saying this to you as a means of encouragement because God is a healer. And I mean that in everything that I hold sacred. I'm listening to stories of people in our, in our congregation who are struggling with things, uh, getting cancer diagnosis, stroke, uh, all kinds of difficulty in the hospital, things that have occurred that you would have never imagined. Uh, the enemy is attacking us. And listen, when people that we love are attacked, we become distracted because we have to give them <clears throat> our attention. And the enemy works to get us distracted, to get us out of the place of faith and to focus on things that really bring us to a place of depression and fear and worry and anxiety. And that's not where God is. God still heals. I want you to know that he still heals. And I want you to hold on to that. There are many of you who on the feed, you've been suffering with something for a long time. And it feels like God is not hearing you. Yes, he is. I prayed for one of my members Sunday. And I said to that member, God knows that you're tired, tired of suffering, tired of struggling, tired of dealing with this. And God is going to give you the ability to stand up. And I'm telling you, even as we were praying, they begin to stand up. And I, I, I want you to hear me that God knows us. God understands the anxiety that we deal with concerning what's going on in these physical bodies. I don't want you to give up hope. I want you to hold on. I want you to operate in faith and trust and belief that God loves us, number one. And the demonstration of that love comes in the form of healing. God is a healer. And so I want to declare some things and decree some things today as we begin to pray that God is, is moving in your life in those places where you need him most. <clears throat> For some of you, the diagnosis that you received is not a diagnosis of death. God is not about death. God is about life. And God is healing you. God is strengthening you. And here's the other piece to the puzzle. Watch your faith increase. Watch your trust in him increase as God begins to deal with your physical condition. All right. I, I want you to understand that the times when you're looking for the healing to come the next day and it doesn't come that way. God still uses people miraculously to bring about healing. The times when God does it instantly, the times when God uses a person, there are times when God uses medicine and medical technology. But no matter the avenue that God takes, God is a healer. I can't drive that home enough. And so I'm saying to some of you, even where your family members are concerned, you tell them, trust God, hold on to God, believe in God and watch God. And as God heals you, as God moves in your life in a very physical way, tell the story, tell somebody so we can rejoice in it with you, number one, but so that it can encourage somebody who's not having that experience right now. God is a healer. I cannot stress that enough. I, 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 I know that we have to pray uh, this through. All right. For some of you, you, you just been dealing with things. I was looking at Kelly and uh, Kelly Graham been dealing with some things. Others have been dealing with some things. When I saw Carl, I got blessed Sunday and I've obviously missed him in church, but God is healing him. And I'm so, so happy about that. Uh, Nikki, God is on the way to heal you, strengthen you in every way. Some of you are just wrestling with some things, but God is present. I said this Sunday that in every difficult area of our lives, God is there and he's there to, for us to draw strength from his presence. Healing is a process. And when we walk through it, uh, sometimes it takes longer than we want it to take. That's OK. God is still in it with us and, and he's in it with us for us to draw strength from him. And so I want you to know. God is moving in your life right now. It may not feel like it. It might not look like it. You may feel worse today than you felt yesterday. I got it. He is still working in your life. Lolita, I am telling you, God is a healer. Please don't give up on God. The enemy wants you to believe that God has neglected you. But that is the whole issue of Satan's deception. He wants you to believe God has overlooked you, that he's not giving you any attention, that he's not hearing you, that he's not going to answer you, that he's not going to respond to you. The devil is a liar. God 
loves his children, and God is a healer. I need for you to know that. And he is healing right now. For those of us uh, who are getting older, I, I have no issue saying that. I am thankful for my age. I'm not trying to go backwards, man. I'm trying to live forward. I'm living in the best days of my life. God is proving to me that age does not mean slow. It does not mean sick. It does not mean trouble physically. It means that God can give you in whatever era of your life, uh, the greatest life. And I want you to hold on to that. We don't have to look at anybody and be envious of where they are. No, no, no. You can live your best days right now. All right. In fact, throw that out there on the feed. Tell somebody, live your best right now. All right. Tell them, live your best right now. Come on, put that on the feed. Live your best right now. I got it. Put it out there on the feed. Live your best right now. Come on, get it out there. Live your best right now. I'm declaring and decreeing that you're going to be healed. I am declaring and decreeing that you're going to be delivered in whatever you're dealing with. I am declaring and decreeing that whatever you're dealing with is not going to pull you down. It's not going to take your take you under. You got it. Live your best right now. Get that in your system. Live your best right now. I'm telling you, hear me clearly. Live your best right now. I want to see you get it out there. Live your best right now. I need you to operate in that. Every single day you put your feet on the floor. I'm going to live my best life today. Don't wait on five years from now. Live your best right now. I'm going to pray, but I want you to get that on the feed. Live your best right now. I got you, Erica. I got you, Janice. Live your best right now. Come on, Sean. We got it. Live your best right now. What are you waiting on? Live your best right now. Why are you talking about five years from now? No, no. Live your best right now. You don't have to wait till you get a certain age. I don't care how young you are. Live your best right now. This is not just a message for people above 50. If you're in your 20s, live your best right now. Didi, don't wait. Live your best right now. I'm telling you. All right. Betty, live your best right now. Patrick, live your best right now. Take advantage of every opportunity to live your best right now. God opens a door, you walk through it. God gives you an opportunity, you embrace it. Live your best right now. And don't live it talking about, I'm living today because I could die tomorrow, wrong attitude. We're not focused on death, we're focused on life. See, you don't have to worry about death. When that happens, the Lord has it. Jesus says, I'll come again and receive you unto myself. So we ain't gotta worry about that. I, I want you to live. And I don't want you to live looking at death. I want you to live looking at, I deserve the best. I'm God's child. I can have the best. There's nothing sinful or immoral about me having the best. I want you to live your best life right now. Even if you're dealing with something, live through it, live forward. If you're hurting right now, don't ignore the pain. Do what you got to do to ease or stop the pain but live your best life right now. I declare a decree, that's where God is with you. He is moving forward in your life to cause you to see everything around you. I mean, literally everything around you as a means of blessing your life, all right? Come on, we gotta pray in that. I want you to hold on to this faith because today is gonna be a good, good day. God, we thank you for Wednesday. We love you for awakening us this morning giving us a fresh start, a new start to a brand new day. And God, the message that I've given your wonderful people is the message we're going to live in. First and foremost, we are declaring and decreeing healing on those who need it. You are a God who loves us. You are our Father. You have demonstrated and proven that you love us. I pray that you would touch bodies. I pray that you would heal and deliver. I pray that you would encourage hearts. I pray that you would speak to people and would say to them, through your presence as you draw closer, that you are there to change their lives. You are there to bring them through. You are there to show them that there is a greater life outside of suffering. 
I pray that you would encourage them through your Holy Spirit to live their best lives right now. I pray that we won't be victimized by the enemy, that we will come out of depression if that's where we are. I pray that we will know that you love us and that you have the best for us. And I pray, God, that we will know that we don't have to live down and defeated. We do not have to be in the dumps, as people would say. We do not have to deal with depression. That, that does not have to be a permanent place for us. I pray this morning that the Holy Ghost would raise us up, that he would help us to know that you are the God who, who gives the best to your children. We're, we're kingdom children. We're, we're, we're not people of the world. We're your children, and you have what's best for us. I pray that you will raise us up. Those who have received diagnosis, I pray, God, in the midst of what they've heard, they'll also hear faith speaking. I pray, God, that you will give them the movement, the doctors, where they need to go, what they need to do so that they can live. We are not embracing death. It's not that we're ignoring it, but we're living our best lives now, and we're not afraid or worried about death coming to us. I pray, God, that we would live our lives knowing that we can experience every good thing, every great thing right now. Encourage us through your Holy Spirit. And finally, God, we pray for those who are on our hearts and minds, loved ones who have, have, have passed away, family members who are dealing with difficulty, friends who are walking through troublesome, troublesome times. We pray for them this morning. I pray encouragement for your people, strength and power for your people that today would be the start. I mean, the genesis of something great. And we call it done in the powerful and precious name of Jesus Christ. And we believe it so. Amen. I love you this morning. I love you this morning with the love of Jesus Christ. Listen, don't forget to come see me Sunday. We're preaching the last sayings of the cross. You got to get there. God's got something powerful to say to you. I know it's from the cross. I know Jesus said it, but it's life for you. I'm telling you today is going to be a good, good day. That's the last thing I want you to put on the feet as we go. It's going to be a good, good day. Put it out there. It's going to be a good, good day. I'm telling you, it's going to be a good, good day. Throw that thing out there. It's going to be a good, good day. Get it out there. It's going to be a good, good day. I'm telling you, it's going to be a good, good day. It's going to be a good, good day. All right, DeAndre, it's going to be a good, good day. Carl, it's going to be a good, good day. I got you. I got you. Tanya, it's going to be a good, good day. All right, Carol, it's going to be a good, good day. I promise you, it's going to be a good, good day. Hold on to that. It's going to be a good, good day. Looking forward to it. It's going to be a good, good day. Hold on to that. It's going to be a good, good day. Walk in that. It's going to be a good, good day. Hold on to it, Erica. It's going to be a good, good day. I'm telling you. Kristen, it's going to be a good, good day. Mother Annie, it's going to be a good, good day. Simone, most definitely. It's going to be a good, good day. Keish, it's going to be a good, good day. Stephanie, it's going to be a good, good day. Alan, I got you, brother. It's going to be a good, good day. Hold on to it, Didi and Doris. It's going to be a good, good day. Karen, it's going to be a good, good day. I'm telling you, I'm saying it so you get it. You know, it's just going to be a good, good day. Derek, it is going to be a good, good day. Hold on to it, Ollie. Hold on to it, Sarah. It's going to be a good, good day. Shante, it's going to be a good, good day. All right. I'm looking forward to seeing you Sunday, 9 or 11. Get there. Let's share it together. All right, Dan, it's going to be a good, good day. All right, Mary, it's going to be a good, good day. We love you. Looking forward to seeing you. Take care.